Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and today I'm gonna to share with you the five reasons why surface grinders are essential for tool and die makers, drawing from my 15 year journey as a tool and die maker, specializing in building precision stamping dies. Now stay tuned until the end, until you hear all five reasons, comment below if you think I could have added something, and I'll respond to each one of your comments. Let's get into it. Reason number one, they are super precise. For a tool and die maker, precision is not a preference, it's a necessity. When building stamping dies with extremely tight tolerances, you need machines that are equally precise or more precise. A surface grinder is one of those crucial machines that makes building these dies possible. Capable of grinding cold hard steel to an accuracy of one ten thousandth of an inch. To put that in perspective, that is about 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Surface grinders are essential for many different things, such as seamlessly fitting highly precise components together, grinding unique features, making precise square blocks, or aligning a punch in the die, which becomes very critical, especially when working with thin materials. Achieving a near perfection in this alignment is crucial for ensuring proper cutting and a burr-free part. Reason number two, they produce a very good surface finish. Having a very good surface finish on components within a stamping die is important for several reasons. First, it significantly reduces wear and tear, minimizing friction between components and enhances their longevity. A fine surface finish on a punch and die provides a sharper edge, extending its lifespan and requiring less maintenance. It is also crucial to ward off challenges like material buildup and galling. Material buildup introduces variation in part dimensions, while galling disrupts the natural flow, resulting in out-of-spec dimensions and premature wear on intricate, costly components. Lastly, the benefits extend to aesthetics, as a nice surface finish contributes to a professional and polished look, enhancing the overall appearance of the die. Reason number three, they make parts very flat. This might be the most obvious one, but I still have to mention it. Never underestimate the importance of achieving flatness when machining. It's the foundation of accuracy. If components lack flatness, ensuring precise fits alignments and consistent surfaces become challenging. Imagine trying to create a precision stamping die without the ability to make things flat. It simply wouldn't work. Flatness is the bedrock of accuracy, an indispensable element in the intricate craft of tool and die making. Reason number four, profile grinding. Some of the time you're going to be using a wire EDM machine to create complex geometries but there's still a lot of situations where it makes more sense to use a surface grinder rather than an EDM machine, such as creating a profile on a very long or large plate. You might need a better surface finish than a wire machine can make. You might need to modify an existing part where it's more difficult to indicate, or you just might need to make a simple radius or angle. The choice between the two methods often hinges on the specific requirements of the task at hand. However, profile grinding or form grinding as we call it is still an important skill to have. Reason number five, sharpening cutting tools. Milling machines, lathes, and other tools are crucial for making precision stamping dies. However, for them to work well, it's important to have sharp cutting tools. When cutting tools are not sharp, they lose their efficiency, have trouble cutting through material, and lose their preciseness among other things. So it's very important to have sharp cutting tools to make precision components. Now, if you're making less accurate components, you can get away with sharpening tools on a bench grinder instead of a surface grinder. I personally do this because it's a bit faster and easier, but I'll only do this with a steel two flute end mill or a steel lathe turning tool. If it has more than two flutes or if it's carbide, or you want the most accurate, sharpest tool, it's still best to do it on the surface grinder. You'll get the best results. Now, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. If anyone is watching needs help designing a new part, we can help you with that. 
We can help build automated equipment. We can do staking, riveting, assembly, tapping, and many other secondary operations. And of course, build you a beautiful precision metal stamping die or answer any question that you might have. We would love to help you, talk with you, meet all of your needs. Again, thank you for watching. Peace out, see you in the next video.